Hello everyone. In today's video, we will be learning filter function in Excel. This function available in Office 365 and Excel 2019. This function helps in extracting this specific data from a large data set based on your criteria. So let's learn how to use this filter function in Excel. I have data with names of salespeople, the product category they sell and the sales figure. Now if I want to filter this data according to this product category, I can manually filter this data by using this inbuilt filter buttons. You know you can easily choose any category and this will filter the data for you. Then why we need this filter function? The filter function is very useful when you want the filter data to update automatically. In that case, the filter function is very helpful instead of using this manual filter button. So let's learn how to use this filter function. Press equal to sign. Type the formula. I just double click here to get that formula here. Now this filter function is an array function. That means this function work on the range of the data set. It has three parameters. First parameter is you have to pass the array on which you want to apply the condition. Means you have to pass the full data set. Then the second parameter is the condition. So this you have to again pass an array for this condition for this as a second parameter. Like if I want to filter the data according to this product category and my product category is in this data range. So I select this data range and this is basically a condition out of this data range. What I want that if this data range filter the data only with suppose electronics product category means when Excel will find this filter function will find this electronics category then it will filter that data only and this third parameter if empty is the optional one and it when uh, no value in this data set match with your condition then this value this third parameter will return by the filter function so i write no data matches you can write anything complete the quotation mark complete the bracket and press type then you will get the data filtered with electronics product category. Now this filtered data is dynamic in nature. That means what suppose if I change this sales figure of this John employee to 1000, then suddenly the change, this filter function update the result. It suddenly changes this value to the 1000. That means as the source data changes, the filter function automatically change the this result so no need to go manually and change the data so this is one of uh, advantage of this filter function now you can use this for multiple conditions also J uh, let's learn how to use for this for the multiple conditions suppose this filter function is working on this data range this is our first criteria that the product category must be the electronics now to give second condition we have to enclose this first condition inside the bracket so enclose this first condition inside the bracket then give this asterisk Now, if I want cells figure, that means this
in this range that see you have to give range of the values this is an array function to be greater than 500 suppose this is my second condition I have to give comma to separate your parameter and press see I just by mistake I wrote uh, I give comma here so press enter then suddenly the filtered data is in front of you with electronic product category and sales value or the sales figure greater than 500 so in this way you can provide more than one condition to the filter function and this function is array function this works on array and return the result is also an array you can give multiple condition and one more thing is important if this for third parameter is omitted if we don't give this third parameter and our condition this one of the condition is not satisfied suppose I write 3000 because 3000 is not available in this sales figure and no value now matches with this condition in this third in this data range we don't have any 3000 value so it will not found the match of this value then what happens see this hash c a l c calculation uh, error will come so you have to specify the third condition if you want if it is there possibility for this uh, hash c a l c error to come there so you have to give some text there or you have to specify the third parameter It is up to you, you have to uh, use it or not. So let me change this value to 300. This function, you can use this function to create dashboards, to create analysis report. And this function work across the different workbooks also and different worksheets also. So Filter function will help you to work across the sheets. That means if your data is in this sheet, this data 8 sheet, and you want to work with part of the data in the other, other sheet. Like if I have created the some dashboard with the help of this data, then I can easily do this with the help of filter function. Like start typing the filter function here, this formula just you have to specify the name of the sheet from where you have to extract the data so my data is in data 8 sheet if i go there and select this data it will automatically give specify or refer the name of this sheet first this is my first parameter then i need to specify multiple condition or two condition in this case so i have to specify the that condition I just select this array and this array out of this array please select the category with books this time I choose the books category this is my first condition I need to specify the second condition which is the cells array out of this cells array please choose the values which are greater than 500 this is my second condition and third parameter I specify with no values found complete the parenthesis press enter and suddenly on the dashboard sheet you will get the uh, filtered value here and these are again uh, dynamic one as I change values here suppose this is a first value here Amelia with books 550 if I change this value let me search for the person if I change this value to 1000 then you will see 
in the dashboard sheet also the value has already changed this is about a filter function and this is very helpful in data analysis where you want to extract the data and you need that data to be dynamic in nature so you can use this filter function if you found this video helpful please like my video share it with others and subscribe to my channel keep watching for more such video have a good day